Alright, the game can hear me nice, so we are back with some more one shot. Uh one shot part five, I believe. Ah oh, man, it's late at night, so hopefully I can get some story progress done. Cause I have to wake up early for a uh for a Halo 5 game day tomorrow, so that's gonna be fun, I hope. Hope my friends attend. Anyways, let's get right down into this. So Nico was in bed last night, so I wonder if, she, if she's if she's gonna have another dream. Oh, no, it's another dream. What'd she see? Oh, she's running off somewhere. It looks looks like a village of some sort. Jake, I had a, I had a, another dream. D did you see this one too? Yeah. I was in a big field, like the one in my last dream. And I saw my village. But then I woke up. Ah, <sighs> uh, I don't think this world, this world has anything like that. I mean, big wheat fields. The only big plants I've seen here are a bunch of weird trees. And those balls of moss floating in the water. Oh, whoops. Wait, is moss even a plant? Say, have you seen a wheat field before, Jake? Yes. Oh, they're really pretty, aren't they? The one, the one around my village goes around for miles. The plants are really tall. Sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. It's like an ocean. Of food! Oh wait, but there's food in regular oceans too. Like fish or crabs. I've never actually been uh, to a real ocean until now, actually. Me neither. Yeah, I've been to the ocean. I have in my life. That's really cool, Jake! I've, I've, I've only seen the ocean on TV before. I never thought I'd get to ride a boat through one. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here either. Ah, uh, I guess it's because the world the world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Jake. It's a little hard to imagine that now, after spending so much time here. But not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. Me too. <laughs> it's good to count. I'm gonna be honest, me too. Really? Even though you're a god? Yeah. I see. Oh, but the good thing the good thing I got over that fear. Otherwise I wouldn't last long here. Then again, I've been carrying around, carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me. Oh, that's real sweet. So thanks for that. Anyway, maybe we should head out now, Jake. I'm not sleepy anymore. Alright, so like, where do I have to go? Like, that's where I'm confused, cause like, uh, uh, um, what's, uh, his name? Uh, it's not Alula, but like, it's her brother. He gave me, uh, the feather. A long and slender feather with glowing edges. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I suppose I better just explore more of the Glen. Feels good to be back on this game. It really does. <laughs> oh, sweet, if I didn't know I'm not in your area, I recognize that girl running. Dang it. Still live here? Sort of. Fish pop populations near the village are thinning, so we fish our folk are making temporary shelter here. Makes sense. The deeper ruins have been abandoned for a while, though. But I do, do see some kids coming in out of those. I think they actually live there? Well, I'm gonna carry the feather with me. Like, maybe someone will, like, recognize it. 
or something, you know? I remember being in there. Yeah, this is like the beginning area of the coin. I'm gonna head back there, see if I need to like backtrack. The horizon is glowing blue. Yeah, I wonder where I have to go. Hmm, I can go further up north. Yeah, I haven't been here, I don't think. Oh, maybe I have. Yeah, maybe I have. Uh, most of the green moss covering our village has, has already lost its glow. If it wasn't for the thin strip left on the boundaries of the land, people could easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land and water become indistinguishable here. Yeah, I've read that before. So no one reacts if I ring the bell or anything? Yeah, I've talked to her before. Oh, you guys go in the dark. Yeah, just like the sun. Oh shit, maybe I need to go back. Oh, I see. Maybe I need to go back to the girl that I gave the sun to. That would make sense. So is this how I like kettle up this guy's rams? Or whatever? I get, yeah, is this the merchant's rams? Like, you need to move them onto the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring the bell and they all turn to their original positions. Good luck. <laughs> Holy shit. It's <laughs> a weird ass sound for a ram. I can find a way out. Yeah, here we go. But yeah, it's like there's definitely a sort of music change here. Which means this place has to be important. You know, besides, I don't know. Oh, no way. Wait. The, the light's gone out. Jake, do you know what happened? No. You, really? But, but, oh, what am I gonna do? What? It's back? It lit up again? Phew. Yeah, you're telling me. What's this? She's gone. Oh, there's something on the ground here. Looks like a kernel of corn? She must have left it behind. sleep anymore. Yep, that's where we first started. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, these robots are like sampling the water or whatever. I guess for, so, that, so that to test see if it's safe for li living beings to drink it, I'd say. so big. I don't like that. Just a giant land mass. I mean, sure, the barons are big too, but I don't know. I feel like I was just over here. Yeah, I was. I don't want to head down south just yet. 
And again, it's probably my only option. I see if I can head east over here first. Yeah, okay, I got it. I'm, I gotta head down south then maybe. the sun now I mean I, I obviously I have to have the sun to progress in the story I'd imagine but yeah it's like a girl's gone like so like did she die or did she leave I mean if she died I'd imagine that you know that that her body would be there Returning to that girl did something for the story, you know, I, I got the sun back. Are you talking about the robot? <laughs> oh, it's these anomalies again. Oh my gosh, I'm actually getting pissed off. I've scoured the entire glen, most likely. I should have found something by now. I mean like you'd th you'd think that you'd think you'd think that you would like put that uh, put the glowing feather inside the altar or something. Been nearly like feels like 30 minutes, but I've only been recording for about 30 minutes. I don't know. I spent like a long, I spent a good long time on that RAM puzzle though. 10 minutes maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go north. That's the girl. It's like trying to do stuff for her mom, right? Yeah. Okay. I swear, if I've talked to like one of these like specific villagers, I'm gonna be pissed. Cause there's like five million houses of these people. Wait, hang on, I might not have been here yet. Although this house does look familiar, so I might have been, unfortunately. Yeah, I have. This is this is the beginning of the glen, isn't it?
And we can go even further up north. Yeah, okay, ringing the bell doesn't do anything. Yeah, okay, she's spinning. Yeah, and you're holding it? Isn't it hot? Not really. It's nice and warm. Stay away from the squares, okay? Mm-hmm. Coals. Hmm. I figured I should be able to enter this house. I mean, it has an entrance on the side, but I can't enter it. I don't know. Alright, let's start all the way to the left. And we will just work our way up from there. Talk to her. Well, yeah, yeah. I've already been in these houses. A cat does sound nice. Maybe I'll ask my cousin to find him one city for me. He just moved there. This looks like flower. Okay. Yeah, ringing those bells says nothing. Nothing else, I'm sure everyone would like to see this sound again. <sighs> Fuck me. Alright, the leader just ram. Yep, I already read that line of dialogue. Let's see what that uh, sheep herder has to say. If anything new. You're in the city, aren't you? Been there, done that. Too cramped, you know? But it's not like this place isn't getting any bigger with the rising waters and all. Hmm, maybe the city isn't so bad after all. It was. What the fuck is up with this one? They're pretty weird. down there life is I don't have to do for now oh you can't help him like grow or whatever okay Grow, he, he, he's growing the booth. Alright, yeah, just go over here. Something like that, Jake. Jake, no. Oh, so I can talk to him and trade. Wait, trade this? Don't you want to find out what it says first, Jake? What's that, a book? Uh, I'm not sure if I want, but I'll take the books. I can't read. Oh, ha, so that's how we continue the story, I'll bet. How about this glass too full of water I got from a robot? Do you like glass? Do I? Do I? Do you? I love glass so much. I want to have too much glass, not enough other things. Yeah, I read some some old bottles and bottles and make room for new stuff. That's why I set up a trade post in the first place. So I guess that's a no go. 
I think I have something I'd like to trade. It looks like wool, right? What can this wool get get me? Wool, huh? That'll get you this fine vial of... I'm not sure what this is, actually. Some sort of fabric dye? How about it, Jake? Take the offer. Eh. Wait, Jake, you want to haggle? Really? Alright, then. Oh, no, 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 not that. Ah. <sighs> I thought I could like refuse and like trade trade another thing. Jake said they want a better offer. Holy smokes! Forget I was doing a trade with God with God for a second there. Okay, okay. In that case, I also throw in this commod commemorative T-shirt. Uh, well, I don't need a shirt. I need something to write with. Hmm. I don't think that's right. Trade this way, Jake. Oh yeah, you almost coined things. I've talked about a couple of these before. Oh. Yeah, there's this guy who trade me the best things for them. Oh? Like, one time he brought me this little machine that plays music. I don't know what it's called, but you have to wind it up. Oh, that's a, uh, uh, something, a phone. Kind of like uh, what they used in, like, the 20s and 30s and stuff. Music box? That's it. Or, well, that, I guess. I wish I could come back soon. I haven't seen him in forever. I want to do more trades with him. I'm not trading that, Jake. Not trading what? What's that? Feather? Mm-hmm. Wait. Oh, my stars! That is not a feather. That is a feather from the late Prophet. Probably one of the most sacred items there is. How in the world did you get a hold of that? Wait. I guess it would make sense for you to have one. You know, if you being the savior and all. Um, okay. Let's see. A seed left behind by the plant lady? Oh, but what if it's like her baby? I can't give away someone's baby like that. Especially not to a bird. Hey. Alright, the wool then. I think that's what I'd like to trade. It'll take wool, right? What can this wool get for me? Wool, huh? That'll get you. Pleasure doing business. Alright. I heard it rams and all I got was lousy t shirt. <laughs> and a bottle of dye. A small bottle of a large blue liquid used for dyeing wool. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm so stupid. You combine the feather and the and the dye. Fuck! I had to look that shit up. It was right in front of me. Not only that, but I kept saying to myself. Okay, with the feather, I can write now. Fuck me, I'm an idiot. When Andrew watches this part, he's gonna laugh his ass off. He's gonna be like, oh, well, I, you know, as soon as I, I saw the, the feather in the diner inventory, I, I knew that you had to combine those, Jake. You know, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, in part three, you kept going, or part four, whatever, you kept going on about how you had to combine, or, or you kept going on about using the feather as a writing utensil. That's what he's gonna say to me. All right. I found a pen, sort of. Good, please write your name here. Good luck. Oh nice, this song again. Yay! Oh. Holy shit! Fuck me. It scared me. Holy shit. Holy fuck. This is scary. Fuck me. This is the city, huh? What are those square things? Ah, the sun. Hello, Messiah. Welcome to the refuge. Oh my gosh, this is the trailer song! Or at least it's a variation of it. That's so cool. Do you understand what you must do here? I'm supposed to go inside the tower, right? 
I already see the tower, so I guess so I guess we must be close. Where's the entrance? On the surface. The surface? Look down, small one. Ooh, we're pretty high up. I guess I gotta get down a lot of stairs. Or find an elevator. Correct. However, the tower is a sacred place. Finding the entrance may be easy. But that alone will not be enough. Sorry, I keep hearing things. What do you mean? Once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for leads. Alright. Thank you. Off you go then. I wish you luck. Human character, I mean. From the trailer. Why isn't this working? Sorry, it's like 2:40 in the morning. I, I would shout the voice. I would shout the proper voice acting if I could, but I don't want to wake my family. I think someone someone might need help. Yeah, all right. There's thunder outside my house. He's a human! That's so cool! Come on! Come on! I'm too busy for this. Uh, excuse me. Whoa! You're... you! Oh jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into... This is embarrassing. Err... Uh -uh. Is there, uh, anything I can help you with? Yes, please! <laughs> I'd like to know how to get to the surface. Yeah, I was afraid you were gonna say that. Who is this guy? He sounds he looks really cool. Right now this elevator is the only way to access the surface, but yeah, you uh, yeah, just take a look at it. it. It looks like an elevator. Well you're not wrong, but go look at the button panel. Huh, there aren't any buttons. Yup, that's a problem. There's usually a big button here that says ground on it. You know, because it takes you to the ground area. But now it's been ripped out or something. You know what, I like, I like how his hat. I like how he has like two like makeshift stitches on his hat. You know, it kind of shows, you know, that he's been like, you know, you know, doing, uh, you know, try, just trying to, you know, trying to survive. You know, just, just like the rest of what I assume the population is doing. You know, it's really cool. I tried looking everywhere for it to no avail. But maybe it, it exploded. You think we have to make a new one? What? How? We'll figure it out. I'll talk to him again. You think you'll be, you'll be able to make that button? Well, no pressure, kid. I'll just stick with my original plan for now. Time to kick the door again. My foot hurts. You know what's interesting? This. This guy has not recognized me as the Messiah, and if he has, then um, he's keeping it to himself for some reason, which is strange. So my predictions for this guy is that he's a villain of sorts, or he's gonna be an, an antagonist. I don't know. I mean, it's just weird. It's like everyone recognizes me as, uh, as the Messiah except for this guy. Then again, this guy is like the only actual human character we've come across, so I don't know. It's all very strange. But um, yeah, I'm gonna head out for the night. Um, I still can't believe I, I never thought thought to combine the uh, uh, the quill and the uh, and the bottle of ink. That's really stupid of me. Anyways, um, like and like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and uh, tune in next time for some more one shot.